like all good stories, uh, this one starts with a smattering of caribou and beer burgers as a little pre-game ritual before final. Earlier today, we were supposed to have finals. Hey, Tennessee. Uh, I got bad news for you. What's that? From Andy Woods. Postpone until tomorrow, folks. So we're ready. We just got ourselves loaded up. We're ready to head up to the hill and uh, let's postpone until tomorrow. We may very well take the qualifier results and turn them into finals. I am hoping that that's not the case because that's never good for the sport and not very much fun. But um, we'll see how it goes. I always like to cook up some game meat before big contests because it makes me feel like you know, the, uh, the, the well-rounded hunter slash skier. So we're cooking up some uh, a caribou that I shot up in Alaska and a deer that I shot with my bow in Utah. mention it but there's something not behind the clouds out there you're, you're very well lit up and that's a that's a good thing it's finals day attempt two, and uh, things are looking better not say it out loud things are looking so here we go game on got my stretch on stretch in with the fan this morning my beautiful wife cooked me up a nice caribou and deer Infused omelet, so I got some protein, some carbohydrates. I'm good to go. Yeah. Fueled up. Fueled up. Let's do this. Our trusty whip, Thunder. Just turned 185,000 today. Taking us up to the hill. good to wrap on practice uh, as typically happens I didn't manage to do all my tricks in any run <laughs> I did each of them except for the switch dub but uh, I'm still feeling pretty good I was gonna do a switch dub and then somebody fell in front of me which is kind of typical it happens on contest day you gotta just take all the adversity roll through it and uh, yeah now it's contest time that thing we talked about earlier yeah, the sun went away. We can say it now because the contest is actually happening, starting to happen, so it's unfortunate, but uh, I still have hope it's gonna pop out here for contest time. Let's go. Here we go, game on. Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm so well taken care of by my filmer guys. Just part of the team. Here we go. Uh, I don't know. I saw a photo bomb. So <laughs> vlog bombing. Quit vlog bombing. Vlog bomb. Alternate combo. Bar fight. Here comes the UFC combo. Yeah. <laughs> I got a lot in the moment. Just <laughs> true Clint off the mountain. <laughs> Man. I'm this weird combination right now of sweaty and cold. I'm sweaty from practice, like my pits are definitely, I got some pit stains going on. But every time I lift my arms up, I'm like, ooh, put them back down. Because yeah. it's chilly out. The absence of the sun is definitely not helping my body temp. But Clint's out here helping me out. Just keep it must be that first platform. light merino wool. That's right. <laughs> Actually, that actually does help. 
<laughs> wow, I feel much better. Yeah, you can move. Plus it like kind of dries your pits because your arms are up. In yeah. <laughs> you just do Shadow box YouTube. Somebody's gonna comment and be like, yo, your boxing technique is terrible. And I'll be like, <laughs> you're like, hey you man, know, I'm a free skier, I'm not a boxer. Yeah. <laughs> it's not my day job, that's for sure. I focus on skiing, not so much <laughs> boxing. <laughs> Basketball and boxing, two sports I ain't never did. But let us know if you want to see David in the ring. Yeah, let me know. <laughs> UFC, I don't know, some okay, jujitsu maybe? Jujitsu is very balance oriented. I could, I could give that a squirrel. Watch every single one. Yeah. The only guy that I'm worried about is the one who dropped the box. <laughs> but still, like. Yeah. No, I think clean, I think clean with bowl is going to play well. Yeah. No, I think the guy behind you is doing Yeah, exactly. Cool. Yeah, and I feel pretty confident. Yep. Yep. Very confident. Do I think the weather's gonna get better? Not really. Nope. It's actually like mellow to hair. Yeah. One, one hair. But it comes. <laughs> it has mellowed slightly. one hair. It's improved. Wake them fingers up. So here we go, two-time Olympic gold medalist, puts your hands together, and Reno for David Wise. Have you seen First Run Dave around here? I thought he was with us. This, I thought he was with us this no. contest. Dave. First Run Dave was long gone. You left him in California. No, I, no I, I used him the other day. Oh, that's true. That's true. I guess you saw the weather on and you decided to go home. Yeah, First Run Dave. Peace out. So I'm going to be Second Run Dave today. No, I like that. Because I don't get three. So. Well, last Run Dave. Last Run Dave. Last Run Dave. Here we go. That's uh, run one. I nearly had it. It was a great run all together, except for the ski coming off and falling on the last hit. So I guess I'm gonna do that again without that last part. That's my goal. We'll see how it goes. Game on. And here's our U.S. Grand Prix Free Ski Half Five Channel out here in Mammoth from the USA. Let's hear it for Burke! World Cup Free Ski Half Pipe Champ from Canada. be a wrap for Mammoth out here. As you can see, the storm held off until just after the contest completed. Uh, it had one out for me though, in the contest. I dropped in on my first run, was having a heater run, 
and got a, the most violent wind swirl of the day going into my right, Doug 12. First run, crashed. Uh, and then second run, I was like, oh, this is great. I'm gonna have the best window, it looked good. The flags were all kind of floppy. Not, not doing that, they were kind of doing this. And uh, so I sent it, as soon as I got into the half pipe, the wind started again. So I was having a really hard time carrying speed. But uh, got through it, stopped my run, and up fourth place. Not terrible. It could have been worse. It could have been better for sure. I would have loved to have capped it all off with a podium or a win. But you know what? That gives me something to be hungry for for next season. So that's a wrap on contest season. Lots of fun things coming up. I'm headed to Japan. And uh, then shortly thereafter, it's going to be time for Audi 9. So pretty, uh, pretty excited to move on to the next part of the season. So thank you guys for tuning in on this one. And uh, yeah, U.S. National Champion. I think this is, this is at least my 10th U.S. National Champion title. So pretty stoked on that. Let me precursor this dinner by telling you I did not actually win the national title. I know we said that earlier, but I found out shortly after standing on the podium with the trophy that Burke won it. So congrats, Burke. Stoked for you, buddy. We're really excited. But I didn't win it, so I don't want you guys to go home with a lot, live, believing a lie. But I have the trophy wife who cooks up <laughs> amazing deer roasts for me, and I showed up home to eat this. So we're going to enjoy it. Thanks for tuning in.